I come out of the shower and this is peering at me. I gotta work today, but uh, we're still gonna have a little adventure and play with Jaw beforehand. So let's get this started. Well, good morning from Hollywood, California, folks. Days of Jordan the Lion coming at you once again. A lot of vloggers are calling it quits. Some of our favorites. Some daily vloggers have recently announced that they're um, they're done. They're not going to daily vlog anymore. Hey, you know what? That just means that their viewers can uh, have time to go look for new people, and hopefully, some of you will uh, mention me to them. So today, we're going to go do a uh, a house that I've wanted to see for a while. And I know recently we've been doing a lot of like film locations and stuff, and today's no exception. Um, I know. Recently I've done like the complete film locations, like I find as many locations as I can and put them in. I'm not going to do that on this one, um, partially because I'm not, I'm a, I'm a fan of the movie, big fan of the movie, but not an obsessed fan. And um, I only do those complete vlog um, of the locations when I can't find a better one online. My goal isn't to like compete with anybody else, really, it's, um, it's just to, to get a really good version out there for everyone to watch. So, for the location we're going to today, uh, Adam Nuwu and Justin Scard have already nailed it. They've already done the best one that's ever going to be done. So, it's not going to deter me from going and seeing the places myself, because who wouldn't want to go see where we're going to go see today? Pee Wee Herman's house. But, uh, it just means I'll go to them in different times. I'm not going to um, go spend eight hours chasing around all the locations and put it together if somebody already did a really fantastic version of it. So, today we're going to go to Pee Wee's house. If I have time, I'm going to go to Francis's house because it's, uh, it's kind of in Hollywood. But if I can't, I promise you I'll go to Francis's house tomorrow and we'll have kind of a continuation vlog. It'll still feel like the same vlog, but it'll just be, you know, a partner to this one. So, John and I are going for a walk and then I got to go do our vlog and go to work. Either someone is decorating their parking lot with candy canes or it's about to be Christmas tree season in my neighborhood. No complaints here. Bring on the hat. Just to show you how finger on the pulse I really am, Saturday uh, while Breck and I were off doing the Invasion of the Body Snatchers vlog, I flip on Facebook for like maybe one minute out of the entire day. The first thing I see is somebody posting a picture of the uh, square where the House of Pies is, and they've rededicated it for J. Ackerman Square. Who has their finger on the pulse? Did I not just do that vlog about a week ago, or, or like two weeks ago, the Forrest Ackerman vlog? I'm having influence in this neighborhood. It's catching on. <laughs> it rained all day yesterday, you guys remember, so. This guy only got to go outside for about a total of five minutes through the day. When he did, he got wet and he was ready to go back in, so he's full of fire. Look at all that tagging. The gangs have just went nuts on this building. That's despicable. Ugh. At least do some art, dudes. Are those petunias? It's going to be that time of the year where everything's starting to look like it was in a Tim Burton movie. And these trees are just decrepit and skeletal. Recycle row. At least somebody's got the Christmas spirit. They went and lined the fire escape with Christmas balls. I got some of these old houses up in the uh, Hollywood Grove. Like old, uh, like an old style craftsman. Am I wrong about that? Or they're huge. They're like actually, they're like big Victorian attics. Wow! Wow! Didn't, didn't foresee coming up upon this. Wow, it's like a little nursery here, like a business, right in the middle of the grove. That's weird. We're not at the Holly, we're not at the grove that everybody knows, like the shopping plaza. This is actually called the Hollywood Grove. Wow, look at that place. Houses are all kind of like that up the street. That old Mustang in front. Wow. 
Check that place out. That's pretty nice. The dimensions to that place. That's great. And this one. If you guys remember when I did the swingers vlog, that's it. Actually, this is kind of how we would have seen it in the movie. All right, we're wrapping up the walk here and we're gonna head off to Pee Wee's place. Check it out. It used to be red, and there used to be about a million animal statues in the front of this place. But this was Pee Wee's house from Pee Wee's Big Adventure. I'm sure you guys definitely remember this, uh, this big red house. And uh, Pee Wee actually, when you first kind of see Pee Wee leave the house, he comes up from this driveway with his bicycle. Comes, comes down here thinking he's gonna have the day of his life. And then he gets met up with, by, with Francis right here. And Francis tells him that it's his birthday. Pee Wee doesn't care. Today is my birthday and my father said I can have anything I want. Good for you and your father. And Francis says that his dad says he can have whatever he wants and he wants Pee Wee's bike. I think if I bought Pee Wee Herman's house, I think I would have kept it red. I don't know. I mean, I loved, uh, I love this movie definitely, but I was a much bigger fan of, uh, The Morning Show. I really loved Pee Wee's Playhouse, especially because I loved the, the guy who did all the art and designed all the gimmicks and everything. His name is Wayne White, and he, uh, there's a really great documentary you guys should see. It's called The World of Wayne White on Netflix. And he talks about how he created all that stuff, and I just, I love that. It's just weird to me how Paul Rubin's whole life is pretty much turned upside down by that. His whole scandal in Sarasota, because if you know anything about him, he started in Cheech and Chong movies. It shouldn't have been any surprise. I mean, I don't know how they made him like a childhood um, morning host, but... The movies were never really that child based. They were PG movies, but they weren't they weren't kid based. And he got started doing Cheech and Chong movies. I mean, look at him in Nice Dreams, look at him in the next movie. He's doing cocaine in them. So, I don't know how he got this squeaky clean image, but I thought the character was brilliant. And I'm actually friends with a guy who made his living for years being a Pee-wee Herman impersonator he's the uh, pianist at the comedy store and he um, was peewee's uh, photo double for all the posters for big top peewee and this guy's name is jeff scott and jeff scott um, was employed by SeaWorld during the early um, 90s and they would send him for like a month or a couple of months at a time to different sea worlds to be peewee and put on performances and he said as soon as that scandal happened his entire like career was over. He had to start from scratch and look for a whole new line of work. So there you go. Pee-wee's Big Adventure House. To the owners, if you ever see this, repaint it red. And this is where Pee-wee's bike, the last time that Pee-wee would have really had a morning with his bike until he met Francis. And I'm actually going to take you guys over to Francis's house. Sorry, Pee-wee Herman. Well, unfortunately, I have to go to work, so the party has to end for a little while. Party can't last forever always. So, I'm going to go to work. As soon as I get done with that, we'll be back to uh, exploring the city. I was going to go to the Clipper game tonight, but I just didn't know when I'd be done, so I can't risk it. Which is too bad, because the uh, tickets are really cheap, too. They're like 10 bucks. But I do want to go see Forrest J. Ackerman's uh, dedication at some point, so... Maybe I'll go walk and do that tonight. Check out the art on that chimney. That's pretty cool. You guys see that? It's like a totem pole up on the top. I am not cooking today. As you can tell. 
He's spazzing out. You're spazzing out. What's up, bud? Say hi to all of your friends. Say hi to all the people on Days with Jordan the Lion that love you, Ja. Breck wondered what all those ghostly images were that uh, occasionally fly across my screen. It's called dust, my friend. It's called dust. Sometimes little particles of dust when I have the flash on get through here, and that's what all those little ghostly orbs are. Oh, sorry guys, you got Jaws butt. That's the end of this scene. I'm going to stand by the new uh, pan pizza from Papa John's, the medium. It's, uh, it's pretty good stuff.